Hello everyone, my name is Abdul Malik and welcome to this spreadsheet tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be looking at the basics of using spreadsheets. Before we continue, I would like to mention that although Microsoft Excel is the industry standard spreadsheet software, there are other softwares with which you can carry out similar tasks and they all have largely similar layouts. Some popular spreadsheet software include Apple Number, Google Sheets, Quip, and so on and so forth. For the purpose of this basic spreadsheet tutorial, I will be using WPS Spreadsheet because it is cheaper and has a free desktop version. Some of the benefits of learning to use spreadsheet software like Excel include entering and storing data, analyzing data, collecting, cleaning, and verifying business data, budgeting and accounting, accounting tasks, visualizing data, reporting on performance, creating schedules or calendars, forecasting, and much more. So this is what a spreadsheet interface looks like. Uh, spreadsheets work with files called workbooks. Each workbook contains one or more spreadsheets. This is a, spre this is a sheet. This is another sheet. You can create more sheets as many as you like you can create as many as you like and you can delete them if you no longer need them you can create spreadsheets and delete spreadsheets each worksheet consists of cells organized in a rectangular grid these are cells this is a cell this is another cell this is another cell this is another cell the rows of a worksheet are labeled with numbers and the columns are labeled with letters. The rows are labeled with numbers. This is row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4, and it goes down to about a million. It goes down as far down as you can think of to about a million. While the columns <coughs> are labeled with letters, this is column A, column B, column C. G and it goes to the right as far as you can think of. When we get to Z, then it starts counting from A, 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 B, A, C, and so on and so forth. There are, there are different types of data that you can enter into a spreadsheet. You can enter text, for example, Abuja. Benin City, Kano, Lagos, these are texts. These are texts. You can enter them into your spreadsheet. You can enter numbers 35.5, 31.8, 50.9. You can enter what we call truth or true or false values. So we'll talk about that later. Enter formulas. For example, for example, for example this is a formula equal to this. This is a sum formula. You can enter different kind of formulas. We'll talk about formulas later. But for now, just know that you can also enter formulas into your cells. It also has what you call an address or a name. So the to name a cell, we use the column and the row that correspond to that particular cell. So for example, this cell is named H6. This is the name box over here, the name box where you can see the name of the cell. So each cell has an address or a name with which you can refer to that cell while working on Excel. Ranges also have names. For example, when I select a group of cells, that is known as a range. This group of cells, for example, this is range B5 to B14. This is a group of cells. If I were to write into the name box, for example, B5 colon, D7. You see, it has selected that range of cells. So we can also cells have names, ranges have names. You can also increase the width of your cell. You can increase the width. This is the width. You can increase it as you like. You can decrease. You can similarly increase the height of the cells and you know make your sheet look good while you work on it. Next, Excel works with formulas in the same way 
mathematics work with formulas you can carry out simple formulas on excel you can carry out basic formulas like your addition subtraction division and multiplication you can use logical comparisons like the greater than greater than sign less than sign equal to sign greater than or equal to less than or equal to <clears throat> An example of how formulas work in Excel, say, for example, I'll create a new sheet to show us how this works. So I have a set of numbers, say this is five, this is six, this is seven, this is eight. If I want to know the total of these numbers, or I want to know what five and six give me, I can easily say equal to, when working with Excel, we'll put the equal to sign first, it comes before the equation and not at the end of the equation like happens like it happens in mathematics it comes first before the numbers so equal to cell b2 plus cell b3 and when i press enter it gives me the answer if i were to carry out a multiplication calculation for example i would simply say equal to for example, cell B4 times cell C2 it gives me 77, which is the answer. You can see the formula here. When you come here, over here, you see the formulas that you enter into your Excel sheet. Here shows you the name box. Well, here you see the formula bar. So whatever formula you put into the cell, it appears in the formula bar. Now we are going to look at the sum function. The sum function is one of the most commonly used functions in spreadsheet software. The sum function allows us to add up a range of numbers and this is how it works. So for example, we want to add up the total score for Abdul Malik Yakubu. So we simply say equal to sum. Excel brings it out for us already press enter and then we select the range we want to add up enter so the total is 320 this is what the sum function allows us to do and we can simply click and drag down for the function to be replicated in the other rows so now we have the total score for the other rows we have the total score for Suleiman Johnson which is 211 we have the total score for King Adoye. We have the total score for Halima Osman. We have the total score for Mari Kilimanja. So this is how the sum function works. Another commonly used function in spreadsheets is the average function. The average function allows us to find the average or the mean of a range of numbers. So, for example, we want to find the average score of each student across their scores. So we simply, for Abdul Malik Yakubu, for example, press equal to average. Then you select the range of scores. Enter. Now the average score for Abdul Malik Yakubu is 67.4. You click and drag down, and that calculation is replicated across the other rows. That is the average function. Another important function is the max function. The max function allows us to find out the maximum number of a range or in a range. So equal to max, enter, select, enter. So we see here that Abdul Malik uh, had the highest score he had in his exams is 88, which is uh, his score in civic. When we click and drag down the formula is replicated and we can see the maximum score for every student for example olivia's maximum score is 85. you can also check for the minimum score equal to mean enter select the range of cells enter abdul malik's minimum score is 14 which is what is called in fine arts click and drag down and it gives us the minimum score across the rows for other students. Another function I would like us to look at is the if function. 
the another function I want us to look at is the if function. The if function allows us to carry out a calculation based on certain criteria or on, based on a certain criterion because here we, we only use one criterion. So I'll simply enter equal to equal to if enter then i include the logical test that is the logic of what i want the software to do so if total score is greater than 250 we are making 250 the cutoff mark here because we want to look at students who passed and students who failed so if a student scores above 250 they have passed but if they score below 250 they have failed so this is the criteria we are working with above 250 is a pass above below 250 is a fail so we we'll use the if function to calculate this the logical test is h2 if h2 which is our total is greater than 250 then that means the student has what passed so we enter a pass comma but if it is not above 250 if the test is not true if the logical test is not true that means if it is the opposite of greater than 250 then that means the student has what well, the student has failed so we will enter fail enter so uh, abdul malik's total score is 308 which means he passed we click and drag down and the calculation is replicated across the rows for the other students it seems we have a lot of passes pass for abdul malik fail for adoye because he scored below 229 we have uh sorry fail for johnson we have pass for adoye pass for osman so everyone who scored above 250 passed and everyone who scored below 250 failed so this is just how the if function works it is a very handy function and it is very easy to master so with this we come to the end of this beginner's introduction to spreadsheets remember like i said all spreadsheet software work the same way they have similar layout and whatever you can do on excel you can do on google sheets you can do on wps you can do on quip the differences are very insignificant so with this we come to the end of the video and i want to thank you for watching and ask you to please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can get more videos like this we will be rolling out uh, more Excel videos, videos on how to use the different formulas in Excel, videos on how to carry out data analysis in Excel, and much more. So please once again, like and subscribe. Thank you.